Welcome to Business Angola. Like everywhere in the world, COVID has really boosted digitalization in the country. In a few moments, you will discover a platform that has succeeded in the challenge of connecting the informal economy to digital. The Angola consumer market is really a $40 billion uh, market. That's the annual turnover. The informal sector has about 30 billion US dollars of that. You'll see it works very well and benefits the growth of the country. But first of all, another example with you, Pedro. You are the boss of another platform specialized in the health sector, which has completely changed the approach of patients with the health sector, doctors, hospitals and pharmacies, for example. This completely fulfills what's happening now with the COVID situation, where uh, not only in Angola, but all over in the world, there were lots of stockouts in different pharmacies. People started running to pharmacies or running to health establishments trying to get aid and access, but they couldn't find, they had to go to different places. Now, in Angola, with our solution, we were already prepared because basically all the information is online. So people don't need to go to different pharmacies to find a mask or alcohol, or anything related to what they need at that moment. And you're in the process of developing your services. What we are actually building now is the ability of having connecting people to doctors and clinics online, which will, uh, again, make sense with the whole thing integrated. We work with pharmacies, we work with doctors, we work with insurance companies. So we are basically building this ecosystem that allows a patient to have everything uh, in one platform. For another example, to understand how digital is helping people to adapt and live this new normal, watch this report produced by our teams in Luanda with a startup company that has succeeded in connecting the informal economy to digital. In this Luanda market, more and more small vendors are using a digital platform to buy and receive their fruit and vegetables. The service has been in existence for several years, but it has grown significantly during the pandemic. So in 2019, the focus was really connecting the informal markets to the consumers. What happened in 2020, which is the pandemic, as we all know, uh, accelerated our growth and accelerated the implementation of the other or activation of the other segments. We're now doing a lot of work in the supplier to the markets, which means we have more informal market vendors actually using our digital platform to be able to connect to their suppliers to stock up their inventory. For the vendors, Geraldine's service saves time and therefore money, as it's the platform that does the sourcing and takes care of the transport. We used to go very far to buy our products and it was very expensive by cab. Today, this is no longer the case. We place the order and they deliver directly to us. Good products and if there's a problem, we can return them. The system works very well in Luanda, but also in other cities in the country. So much so that Geraldine and her team have set up new services, for example, through partnerships with the two main commercial banks in Angola. We're talking about basic bank accounts. We're talking about very basic insurance products and all other types of financial services that will enable each of these vendors to be able to participate more effectively in the economy, to manage their savings better and to have visibility of their business. The stakes are very high. Since in Angola, as in many other African countries, this informal sector is one of the pillars of the economy. The Angola consumer market is really a $40 billion uh, market. You know, that's the annual turnover. The informal sector has about 30 billion US dollars of that. So we're talking about a really large economy that has got numerous players, millions of micro players. There we go. We've just seen this example, this model that could be replicated elsewhere in the world. It's also the case with your platform, which also works in Rwanda and is interesting the Swedish. If we go more digitalized and more global in a way, so actually all companies all around the world are competing over the same things. So that's the way that we have built our philosophy. We work with people all around the world and we think that this is actually the way to go to, to have a sustainable growth and to find new markets as well. Sustainable growth, new markets, thanks to digital, all in this new normal context. Thank you, Pedro, for being with us. See you soon on Business Angola.